It was the year 2003, when the Dubai's Sheikh started construction of the World Project on the Sea. This project consists of 300 islands forming the shape of Earth, which would host luxury villas, hotels and beach resorts and things that we can't even imagine. In fact during the advertisement for the world it was called the Land of Paradise. But even after two years of its completion why they are still vacant? Even after the endorsement done by most expensive celebrities, why Dubai's Sheikh's dream remained unfulfilled? What actually happened here? Welcome back again to our videos. Viewers, we all know that Dubai's ruler Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum has transformed Dubai in a way, which is unparalleled in the world. 30 years ago there used to be only one building in Dubai, which is called Dubai World Trade Center. But, since then the consecutive construction projects has transformed Dubai from a 100% oil-dependent country to a country which has only 3% dependency on oil. And Sheikh's vision was something like that. From the highest building in the world, Burj Khalifa to world's first and the last seven-star hotel Burj Al Arab Dubai's is filled with world-class luxury. When the land became scarce to build more construction projects in Dubai then Sheikh shifted his focus towards the sea. It was the year 2001 when Dubai already had attracted Western tourism with Burj Al Arab. Beaches of Dubai were already becoming quite famous and soon, there was a scarcity of adequate beaches. It was time to extend the 70 kilometers coastline. First, it was decided that three artificial islands would be built in Dubai's sea which would look like a palm tree when viewed from space. Palm Jumeirah, Palm Jebel Ali and Palm Deira. In 2001, first Palm Jumeirah's work started maybe because it was the smallest among the three islands. With Palm Jumeirah 56 kilometers was added to Dubai's coastline, i.e. 80% increase in coastline. Dubai's Sheikh loved this idea of increasing the coastline so much that before the completion of Palm Jumeirah construction work for Palm Jebel Ali and Palm Deira began. Along with these three projects, there was another one which attracted the entire world's attention towards itself like a magnet. This project was launched by the name The World, which had total 300 islands. The design of the world was based on the map of the Earth which had islands with the name of different countries. The construction for the world begins on 2003 which was being built 3.5 kilometers away from the coast of Dubai by blocking the turbulent sea waves. The world was going to be a playground for the world's elite class. International actors, the royal class, and business tycoons participated in this project. Few purchased islands for the personal use, others did advertisements for it. Here even the price of the smallest islands were kept 15 million dollars or 112 crossing rupees. And the big ones were sold in a whooping 50 million dollars or 375 crossing rupees Dubai got similar success in the world as it got in its previous projects. Before the completion of the project, more than 60% of the islands were sold out by 2008. But why these artificial islands were so expensive? First of all, it is not at all an easy task. It is very difficult to build even a small island amid these ferocious waves. Despite that Dubai built 300 islands here. To build one island, the amount of sand used with which an entire stadium could have been filled from top to bottom. The weight of the stones used in the construction of the world is equal to the weight of 5.5 LOX train engines. To build this 9 kilometers long and 6 kilometers wide project, Dubai government had to spend 14 billion dollars. With this amount Dubai could have built 9 Burj Khalifa or 77 star. Luxury hotels like Burj Al Arab but Dubai's Sheikh wanted to generate income not only from the land but from the sea also. And that was the reason why Sheikh wanted to build the land of paradise on the sea. But what happened that despite so much pomp and grandeur these islands are still empty for last 12 years? The first reason for the failure of the world is its design. Everyone expected that the project would be made according to the shape of the earth. But after the completion of project, it was found that it is quite different from the shape of the earth. 
In fact the shapes of most of the islands were quite different from the shape of actual countries. Which made the investors disappointed. But the change in the design was not the only reason behind the failure of the world. The launch of the world was done on 2008 in which the entire Dubai glittered with the fireworks. The money spent in that launch event turned futile. Because that was the time when the entire world was caught in global financial crisis. 60% of the islands of the world were sold before this financial crisis. And because of this crisis not only the world islands but property rates of entire Dubai fell drastically. Because of the financial crisis even the elites who had purchased the islands they also didn't started construction work here. Over time another issue surfaced. The empty islands gradually became prey to the sea. It was noticed that many of the islands sank due to erosion. This news was dangerous in itself. But the media coverage lowered people's trust even further. As a result, after the financial crisis although other parts of Dubai saw a boom in business but no one tried their luck in the world because of erosion. When engineers and research team investigated the island's erosion another dangerous fact surfaced. The sand used in construction of the world islands along with Palm Jumeirah, Palm Deira, Palm Jebel Ali were all collected from the Persian Gulf and dumped on the island site. As water pressure increased in those shallow waters from which the sands were collected due to which changes in the sea waves were noticed. Erosion was seen not only on the artificial islands but on the coastline of entire Dubai due to change in waves. This satellite image was from 2002 when only Palm Jumeirah was built. Carefully see Dubai's coastline which can be seen in a straight line. Now see this footage from 2008 when all other islands were already made. In this, you can see that Dubai's coastline is eroding from different places. And to stop them artificial walls were created in many places. Creating artificial islands, doubling or tripling the Dubai's coastline and playing with nature is now adversely affecting Dubai. This matter has affected the trust of investors, business tycoons and celebrities that Dubai government stopped the work in all the island projects. The matter was so severe that Dubai had to refund the investors of Palm Jebel Ali. And have to shut the project of Palm Deira in the middle. Of course having a private island have its own charm. In Palm Jumeirah people are already enjoying the kind of luxury which can be enjoyed in the world islands. After all. This is Dubai's first artificial island project which was a grand success. Many celebrities already own properties in Palm Jumeirah. Like famous football player David Beckham, Sharuk Khan, Shilpa Shetty and many other famous names. But it is not that no one had built any mansion there in the world islands. Out of 300, there are 9 islands which have been developed. These are Lebanon Island. Europe Islands an island named after Formula 1 driver Michael Schumacher been developed. Rest 291 islands are still inhabited and gradually getting engulfed by the sea. Dubai's Sheikh is well aware of this debacle to rectify this mistake he is busy launching new and ambitious projects. According to the new plan Europe Islands of the world will be developed first. 10 Palace in Sweden Island. 32 villas in Germany Island and 72 floating suites are being planned. In these floating suites, tourists would be able to enjoy the unique experience of the sea. Not just above but tourists will be able to enjoy marine life from their underwater bedroom. One thing is clear that Dubai is not going to bother from these tiny failures. And the living testimony of this is Jumeirah Bay Island. Museum of the Future, and the Dubai Expo 2020's colorful celebration. Also, Dubai's future projects include world's first dynamic tower. Because of its rotating floors guests would enjoy Dubai's 360 views. Hope you will like and share this video. My heartfelt appreciation for your loving comments. We'll meet you in another amazing video.